Yo, what's up guys? Surgical Golden here. Welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing a new Pro vs Pro against Mohamed Light. I don't think he needs a lot of interaction, but if for some reason you don't know who he is, he's the current world champion. He's the best player in the world right now, without a doubt. And we're gonna be playing a best of five. There's no specific rules, so you can play any deck. So let's hop into the first game with this Bridge Bam Light Evolve deck. And then later on, we can always switch decks. Not really sure what Muhammad is gonna use. Muhammad is especially known for like being really, really like insanely good with like minor control decks, quick cycle minor decks, quick cycle Hawk Rider decks, but he can basically play anything. So let's see what he plays. Let's give him the good luck in the first game and let's start off with a ghost on the left. Okay, he starts off with Lava Hound right away. So Lava first play by Muhammad Light. I wasn't expecting that by the way. Okay, so let's go with Queen in the same lane. Let's see what he's gonna drop against the Royal Ghost. Okay, he goes with Skelly Drex. I guess we can pop the ability soon. Let's wait a little bit, pop the ability. I'm gonna go with Magic Archer here, and then I'm gonna go with a Knight to tank for everything. Okay, he goes with a Fireball. We can have the Heal Spirit ready, just to make sure that the Queen doesn't take too much HP. Nice, good Heal Spirit. And then let's pressure a little bit more with Ghost here. We're probably gonna force maybe like Barbarians, maybe Goblins. I'm not sure what he has. Okay, let's pop ability, just to make sure we take um, yeah, more value from the queen. He went with barb, so well played by him. I think his deck has goblins, if I'm not wrong. So let's go with magic archer here. I'm gonna wait a little bit, and then I think I'm gonna go with better and plus lock. Okay, let's go with lock right now, knowing that he has goblins. Nice, really good prediction there. Okay, awesome. So the better connects to the tower, and I think that might even be tower down. Okay, it's gonna be tower down, so good. The only bad thing for us is that we don't have um, that much air defense. We only have the Queen and we have Magic Archer. So we need to maybe, yeah, try to pressure somehow. And then we also don't have a big spell. So it's going to be kind of rough to deal with those Barbarians. Especially since they are, um, yeah, evolution right now. So let's go with the Knight. I think I'm going to send the Knight towards the lane um, of the Three Crowns. Just in case he goes with like an Inferno Dragon or something. And then let's go with a bandit here in the same lane. Let's see what he drops. I think he's gonna... Okay, he goes with a Skelly Drex. Yeah, he goes with everything there. Let's go with Magic Archer. And I think I'm gonna pressure a little bit for the three crowns. Let's see what he draws. Okay. Let's go with Lock here on defense. Just to make sure the Barbarians don't have that much HP. Okay, Baderim connects to the tower. He spends Fireball, so quite a lot of Elixir spent there on defense. Let's go with Archer Queen, and I'm not sure. I feel like he's gonna go with Lava Hound anytime soon right now. Okay, let's see. Okay, there you go. There's the Lava. I think we need to pressure for sure right now. He doesn't have Fireball on Psycho, so this is gonna be a good moment for us to pressure. Okay, let's go with Lock as well. Nice, we kill everything. Better him connects to the tower. Evolution Knight is still tanking. Ghost is there as well, and I think this might be a 3 count. Nice, okay, awesome. So first game is gonna be a 3 count with this Bridge Pam deck. Mohamed Light playing a Lava Loon deck, a little bit more expensive deck, so it's kind of easy for us to track his cycle. I think we did a great job there, going with the prediction log, knowing that he has goblins. He didn't play them yet, but I recognize the deck, so yeah, awesome first game. Let's think about the second match. I don't really have any decks like prepared for this. I think I'm just gonna play... Okay, let's actually go with this Royal Giant Monk deck. It's uh, one of my favorite decks right now. I think Royal Giant is still pretty strong, even though they yeah did nerf the Royal Giant, like the HP. You notice it a little bit in some situations, but in my opinion, as I said, it's still pretty strong. So let's hop into the second game. Let's see what Muhammad Light is gonna use. As I said before, he's especially known for like quick cycle decks. So I wouldn't be surprised if now he will play maybe like a minor control deck, maybe like some kind of Hawk Rider deck, or he might, yeah, uh, play anything. As I said, like he can play anything really well. So nice. I'm really happy about the first game. At least I didn't get 3 0 I think I already recorded like two or three best of fives against Mohammed um, on this channel and then also on my Spanish channel I think I did one or two and I'm pretty sure all the best of fives we played I either got three zero or um, I managed to win one match so yeah starting off with a win I guess is uh, something to be happy about okay let's give him a good luck let's focus up let's see if we can get another victory here so he's waiting I guess with psycho decks you don't really want to wait um, and I'm asking if we should wait I think I, I will go with a barbell here just to cycle, just to see what he has. And then he goes with Tombstone. Okay, Tombstone could be maybe Graveyard. I doubt that he will go with Lava Hound again, but he could have... Yeah, he could be playing Lava Hound again. I'm thinking about Graveyard here. After seeing Barbell and Tombstone. The one with... Exactly, the one with Knight, Ice Wizard, Baby Dragon. 
So this is an interesting matchup. I think the Monk is pretty annoying for him because since he has Ice Wizard, since he has Baby Dragon, the ability sometimes can get some value like reflecting on those type of troops. But besides that, I think we should be, yeah, pretty good here. Okay, let's actually go with a uh, Royal Giant on the right side. His cycle is kind of awkward right now, so he's gonna have to tombstone high, I think. Okay, he's gonna tombstone there. Interesting. Let's go with a Barbell. He goes with a NATO backwards. So the Royal Giant will not or will get a hit. Okay, will get a hit. Nice. So we got one shot there on the right side. I guess that's nice. And then, yeah, let's just ignore the Ice Wizard. Ice Wizard is gonna do quite a lot of damage, but I guess we don't really want to overspend like on defense there. I feel like we might even be down one or two elixir or let's see what he drops okay i guess we're almost even maybe okay let's go with monk in the back let's see what he drops i think he's one card away from having tombstone in hand again okay he goes with knight probably gonna tombstone anytime soon i think here we could maybe try to make a push with the evolved royal giant let's see what he does okay there you go there's the tombstone let's pop ability here and then let's go with the e-spirit to try to kill all the skeletons Please jump. Okay, nice. E-Spirit jumps. Let's go with Barbell here. Royal Giant still has a lot of HP. So Royal Giant is going to get onto the tower. Gets one shot. Gets two shots. Doesn't get a third because he goes with Tombstone again. But I think here we could maybe go with another Royal Giant knowing that he doesn't have Tombstone in Psycho. Let's go with the Royal Giant at the bridge again. Let's have Fireball ready for the Ice Wizard. He's probably going to play it anytime soon or is he not? Okay, he, I guess he just decides to go with a NATO backwards. Nice timing there from Mohammed. Okay, so looking pretty solid, I think. Royal Giant doesn't get a shot, so that's unfortunate. But still, we're applying a lot of pressure. He didn't play a single graveyard yet. So I guess that's kind of good for us. Mm, I gave him a lot of poison value here. But anyways, let's go. Yeah, let's go with ability. I was thinking about going prediction uh, ability there, predicting the bar, bro. But I was like, nah, no, let's not do it. Okay, let's go with the Royal Giant here in the back, in the opposite lane. We just need to watch out. Okay, he goes with graveyard. He goes with a poison as well. Let's go with Barbell. Let's go with the E-Spirit here. And I guess we need to Phoenix on top of the Baby Dragon. Because if not, it would have gotten quite a lot of damage. So we already cycled another Royal Giant. Let's go with a Fisherman here. And then I think I'm going to go Royal Giant on the right side. Should be pretty good. Let's go with Goblins on the left. Okay, nice. Look at the Goblins. E-Spirit to kill those Skeletons. Okay, good amount of damage on the right side. Let's see what he drops. He goes with Ice Wizard. Let's go with Phoenix in the back. Let's have the Monk ready here. I think I'm gonna Monk high, actually. The bad thing is that he has Evolved Knight ready now. But anyways, I think we should be fine. Okay, let's pop Ability. Let's pull everything towards the middle. Let's go with Goblins as well, just to make sure we DPS down that Knight. Hopefully the Phoenix... Okay, it's not gonna kill the Baby Dragon. Let's actually try to go with another Phoenix here. And then I'm gonna go with Royal Giant as soon as we can. Okay, let's go with Royal Giant. Hmm, the Ice Wizard is gonna be annoying there. I think I'm gonna Fireball it. Okay, he's gonna probably NATO everything backwards. There you go, we still got a hit, so that's really nice. Let's go with a Fisherman as well to pull away this Knight and to keep up the pressure, he's gonna have to go with a Barbell again. Let's go with a Phoenix up high and I think we just need to keep up the pressure here, to be honest. Okay, let's go with a Fireball on top of everything. He's probably gonna Poison, so I don't really wanna go with Goblins. Let's go with a Monk here. Let's go with a Phoenix up high, just in case he goes with like a NATO to pull everything towards it. Okay, let's go with a fireball on top of the... Okay, I'm gonna pop the ability. He's probably gonna barbell. Nice. We need to watch out with a nade on top of everything. There you go, he nados. Is it enough to defend though? I'm kind of afraid. I don't know if we can defend. The... the no. Did we win? Okay, we ended up winning. That was so close. Wow, he played this insanely well. We ended up winning by 70 HP. So that was an insanely close match. I think... I don't know if I should have pressured the other lane. Like, we had so much damage done on the right side. I was trying to fully defend. We did end up defending. But that was insanely close. Wow, really well played to Mohammed. I think that's a really good matchup for us just because of the Monk. I think without having Monk, it's not that easy for the Royal Giant player. But with having Monk... It's just so annoying for him to deal with because he can't really pull 
um, or he can't really throw like barbells because if I, for example, ability, we're just gonna reflect the barbell, the ice wizard plus baby dragon gets reflected as well. And then the royal giant, yeah, it just thanks so much for the royal giant. So, okay, we're actually up 2 0 against Muhammad Light, but I don't wanna celebrate yet because I feel like, yeah, he can still win, like he just needs to win three matches. But we're in an extremely good position right now. I'm not really sure what deck to use. I think I'm gonna go with this Mortar Minor Bait deck. Um, I'm not sure if it's really strong right now, but I actually like the deck a lot. I think Evolve Mortar is still pretty strong. And it has a lot of spam cards. And as you guys know, like I like this type of bait deck. So let's go with the Mortar yeah, spam deck. Let's see what Muhammad is gonna bring for the third game. So first match, he played this Lava Balloon deck. We ended up 3 him with the Bridge Spam deck. Second game, we played the Royal Giant Monk deck. And then he played this um, yeah, Splash Yard deck, the Graveyard deck with Ice Wizard Tornado. So, interesting decks from him so far. I think this Pleasure deck is pretty strong right now, but yeah, I think we had a pretty good matchup. And in the first matchup, I'm not sure how good of a matchup or how bad of a matchup. We had a lot of pressure. I think we did a good job at pressuring the, the three crowns there. So yeah, so far, so good. Let's hop into the third match. Let's give him the good luck, and let's see what Muhammad is gonna bring. Okay, he gives us the good luck as well. Um, he goes with Tombstone again. Let's go with Skeleton in the back. So Tombstone again could maybe be, yes, Pleasure. Could maybe i'm not sure what it could be besides pleasure actually okay here oh i think it's gonna be royal giant yeah it should be royal giant after seeing tombstone plus mother witch it should be royal giant with seppies with skeleton king so mm, not sure if this is a good matchup we don't have a small spell which is gonna be a big problem against his um against the ability of his skeleton king let's see what he drops here he might yeah he goes with a fisherman he goes with seppies as well I think he's gonna pop ability, yeah, he got, he's gonna pop ability here. And I think we might even have to drop, yeah, we have to drop more. Okay, he goes with Rage, he activates the King though. He actually ended up activating the King with the Rage, so... It's gonna help us a little bit. And then Skelly King on top of this, uh, the Seppies. So, he's Rage in there, interesting. So, I guess he doesn't have Barbell. He has Rage instead of the Barbell. So, let's go with ability here. Let's go with a Miner on top of the... Mother Witch, just to make sure it doesn't get too much damage. Hopefully the... Okay, the Fisherman doesn't go down. He cycled back to another Skelly King. So we don't get any damage there. We need to watch out now because he's probably gonna pop the ability soon. Knowing that we don't have a small spell. Or is he not? The good thing right now is that he activated the King with the Rage. So that's gonna help us against future Skelly King abilities. And then he goes with Seppis on defense. Um, defending the Skelly Drags. So, interesting situation here. We both didn't play our win condition yet. I didn't play a single Mortar, and he didn't play a single Royal Giant yet. I think we should maybe... Okay, nice Rage from him. I kind of forgot that he has Rage. It's kind of, yeah, strange to see Rage and Royal Giant. But I guess it's a nice surprise card. Okay, let's go with Mortar up high. Let's go... I think with Skelly King, same lane. I'm not sure if we should be playing same lane or opposite lane. I guess cannon card same lane is kind of nice because he can't really kill it. I'm not sure if fireball plus rage kills it. I guess it does, right? Or it doesn't. Okay, let's go with skelly dragons up high. Let's pop the ability right now. Okay. And... Okay, let's cycle some spear gobs here. Let's see what he's gonna drop. I'm gonna go with goblin gang as well. I need to watch out with the mother witch. Okay, I'm gonna go with Mortar Defensive again. There you go. He goes with Mother Witch on the right side. There was a good Mother Witch by him. Okay, let's go with Skelly King. Well, Giant ends up getting a shot, so that's unfortunate for us. I'm gonna pop Ability. Not sure if it's a good Ability, though, because the Mother Witch is there on the right side still. The good thing for us is that the Mother Witch doesn't uh, make like a... How do you say? A good Royal Hawk? I don't know how to say it. Like, the Royal Hawk has only one HP. So let's go with a fireball to take care of all those tombstones. I'm gonna go with a cannon card onto the right side to start killing those piggies and also later on DPS down everything. Okay, let's go with Skelly King. I wanna go with a mortar here. He goes with rage, so he doesn't have it in cycle right now. Let's go with a minor defensively. Please kill the mother witch. Okay, nice. We did end up killing her. Okay, this is not a bad situation actually, I think. Okay, let's pop the ability on the right side. Let's go with Goblin Gang on the left side. Knowing that he doesn't have Barbell, I think this push could maybe be annoying for him. Nice. Look at the right side as well. Let's go with Skelly Drex here. He's probably going to Fireball everything though. There was maybe bad Skelly Drex. Yeah, I gave him a lot of Fireball value there. Mm, that was not the best Skelly Drex because, yeah, as I said, I gave him a lot of Fireball value. The Miner is getting a lot of chip damage though. Okay, he misplaced the Fisherman. 
Mm, let's see what he does. Does he decide to pressure with the fisherman? Okay, let's go with goblins here. Let's go with a skelly king as well. I'm gonna go skelly jacks high actually. Just to be a little bit annoying with the skelly jacks. A fireball ready in case he goes. Okay, nice. He gave us a good fireball. We can hit uh, two zeppies plus the mother witch. Let's pop ability here. Let's go with cannon card from behind. Goes with rage on defense. I think we maybe need to pressure a little bit here. Let's see what he drops. Okay. Fireball on top of the mother witch. Goes with another rage on defense. 30 seconds left. I'm not sure if we have time right now. Let's see. Okay. He goes with Skelly King. That's good that the Skelly King is out of cycle. We need to try and pressure here. Nice. Good fireball. Let's pop the ability as soon as we can. Look at the Miner go. Miner is getting a lot of damage. Look at the right side as well. Right side goblins are getting a lot of damage. And I think that's game. Okay, nice. So we actually ended up winning 3-0 against Mohamed Light. We ended up getting really good matchups. Um, of course, yeah, it is what it is. But I think we also played really well. So that's actually amazing. I think it's the first time after like five videos or something doing West of Fives against Mohamed that we beat him. So let's give him the GG's. Really well played to Mohammed as well. As I said, we did end up getting some really, really good matchups in all three matches. So big shout out to him. Let me know, by the way, in the comment section down below against who you would like me to face next. Like any pro player, maybe a YouTuber. Let me know. I would love to see who you guys want to see in the next episode. So that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.